So I'm pretty much the only thing which stands between you and lunch. I'll keep it uh, brief and simple. The most uh, successful and abundant life form on Earth are bacteria. And without them, our lives would actually not be possible. But a lot of them can make us sick or even kill us. Cholera, typhus, the plague, etc., you name it. They have claimed millions, hundreds of millions of lives. And for the longest time, humanity had no clue what was happening. So we imagined demons, we imagined devils sneaking up on us, and there was nothing we could do about it. It was only in the 1700s that a Dutch scientist first observed a microbe through one of the first microscopes. But it took until the 1860s until uh, Louis Pasteur from Paris first made the link from microbes to disease. And still, there was nothing we could do about it. The revolution came in 1928, when Alexander Fleming and his contemporaries um, discovered penicillin, the first antibiotic and the first of many to come. Penicillin, a simple molecule, uh, inhibits the growth of bacteria. And this was the start of the golden age of modern medicine. Think about it, moving, removing an appendix, or a complicated thing as transplanting an entire heart or a lung would not be possible if we could not stifle microbial infection. But now picture this. You have an accident. You fall, a little scratch on the arm. The wound gets infected. It does not heal. You go to the doctor, and he looks at it, he diagnoses it, and says, well, clear case, you have flesh ink bacteria. But unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about it, because all our antibiotics that we have do not work anymore. And this sounds like a scene from a dystopian fiction novel, but unfortunately, this is more and more reality today, because what we are witnessing in our times globally is the rise of the superbugs. A superbug is a bacterium that is not only resistant against one antibiotic, for example, penicillin, but against multiple of them. And it is a big problem. Nowadays already, more people are dying from antibiotic-resistant bacteria than from HIV. And it's not just against few of those antibiotics that bacteria are becoming resistant. In fact, we have observed resistance against every single molecule of antibiotics that we have today. And part of the problem is that we have been really complacent. For a period of over 30 years, there was not a single new class of antibiotic discovered. And now the superbugs are catching up to us. We are aware of the problem, and we are working hard on finding new solutions. This sometimes involves fancy technology. For example, we are currently working on genetically reprogramming bacteria to cause them to synthesize new kinds of antibiotics that the world has not seen before. But since this is a session of healthy habits, I'm going to briefly give you a few tools, let's say. They're pretty low-tech, but these are things that you can do in every day of your life to protect yourself and to help stop the spread of, anti, uh, of antibiotic-resistant microbes. So first of all, simple, wash your hands. Soap kills a lot of bacteria, water washes them away. If you have a wound, disinfect it, keep it covered, keep it clean. Use medication correctly. If you're infected with a virus, do not demand an antibiotic. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> and if you're prescribed antibiotics, take the full course. Do not stop once you start to feel better, because it's these low levels that foster the evolution of resistance. Get vaccinated and vaccinate your children. This is the single most effective way of preventing infection with nasty diseases, some of them, in the first place. Vaccines will not harm you. A bacterial infection might actually kill you. Watch what you eat. About 80 percent of all produced antibiotics today are used for meat production. And so a lot of them end up in untreated wastewater, and some of them end up in the meat that you consume. So again, only buy meat from sources that treat their animals responsibly. And finally, make sure that your body is healthy, and not only your body, but also the good bacteria that live in and on your body. Sleep well, 
eat well, live healthily, exercise. This will not guarantee that you will never get sick, but it can help chances、um, of recovery once you do, and it will prevent quite a lot of disease because your body can actually help you there to defend yourself. Microbial resistance to antibiotics threatens to end modern medicine as we know it. So what we have to do is fight against it, and I believe that this is possible, and we will do it. Thank you. Thank you.